The world of boating is a remarkable feat of engineering, just like the world of cars. But what if we combine the two? This is a story about innovation, power and the luxury brought to life by a family-owned business in Wisconsin. Their vision was to develop the most powerful outboard engine in the world, but it was much more than that. They defied conventions and created a masterpiece of engineering that took the boating world by storm. The 7 Marine not only redefined the top-class product of the industry, but it also set a new standard for power and performance on the water. Some ideas are born out of necessity, while others come from creative what-if thinking. In 2009, Rick Davis had been working as a chief technology officer at Mercury Marine for 32 years when his son Eric approached him with a potential business idea and plan. At the time, there were not many outboard engines with exceptionally high horsepower, so to create a truly fast boat, one would need to combine three or four units together. However, this also brings other trade-offs, such as the aerodynamic drag. The Davis family sought to revolutionize the industry by developing a unique engine that would deliver remarkable power and torque. However, engineering a new engine from scratch would require a significant amount of effort and financing. As a result, Davis considered using an off-the-shelf power plant. According to Rick, the powerhead was designed with a why not approach, addressing every yeah but issue that arose. The result was the 7 Marine 557, which was 59% more powerful than its closest competitor, and when combined with multiple engines, provided a lighter solution with more power. Eric's brother, Brian, joined the team to handle marketing and sales. A few thought we were nuts, but we had enough interest to move forward. However, as the saying goes, when many people consider you a lunatic, you should keep pursuing the idea. This is how the most powerful outboard engine of the time was shown to the public in Miami in 2011 in collaboration with the Interpret Powerboats company. The initial idea was to use a big block Mercury inboard engine, but they eventually settled on a supercharged LSA engine. Essentially, they hang a Cadillac off the back of the boat. The 7 Marine 557 was comprised of an automotive GM engine that came from a 2011 Cadillac CTSV. It was the Gen 4 small block Chevy also known as the LSA. The aluminum engine promised a reasonable weight while delivering outstanding performance. 7 Marine did not manufacture parts for the unit, the suppliers did. More than 30 suppliers from Wisconsin and others from other parts of the world provided approximately 1200 individual parts needed to assemble the powerheads. 7 Marine only painted the partially disassembled engines and then put the whole thing together. The original automotive LSA was rated at 556 horsepower on the crankshaft, and 7 Marine states that they achieved 557 horsepower on the propeller. The V8 was notably heavier than any other competitor in the industry, but its power figures were unmatched. Imagine having not just one, but four or five of these engines on a boat with the ability to reach over 70 miles power on open seas. The 7 Marine 557 was an innovative outboard engine that differed from traditional vertical units, instead utilizing a horizontal engine design. This required a unique approach to building the powerhead, including the placement of a transmission just below the engine. Power was sent through a transfer case that included a set of five vertical gears, which not only transmitted power, but also drove the seawater cooling pump and formed part of the exhaust system. The gearbox transmitted power through a 90 degree gear set and a pack of hydraulic clutches to a twin pinion gear case, which split the torque between two drive shafts to allow for a sleeker 
and more streamlined torpedo shape. The transmission was originally developed by ZF for a downsized pod drive that never made it into production, making it a unique and specialized component of the 7 Marine 557. I was aware of the transmission when I was at Mercury. There's no way that we could finance the creation of that transmission ourselves, but here ZF had it all engineered and ready to go. The unique design of the 7 Marine 557 outboard engine and its advanced transmission made it a game changer for the company. By using an already existing gearbox, 7 Marine saved development costs and was able to mount the engine horizontally, which is how it was designed to run. This is unlike traditional outboard engines which are vertically mounted. As an automotive engine, the LSA was not designed to work in a marine environment, with seawater cooling. To adapt this, 7 Marine had to modify the engine's cooling system, replacing the supercharger intercooler with a custom one that was 30% larger and was made of copper-nickel alloy that can tolerate raw water. On top of that, the engine block and heads were cooled by ethylene glycol, which is circulated through a closed-loop water-to-water heat exchanger cooled by the seawater. The exhaust system was also redesigned with two outlets, one about the sea line at low speeds, and one through-hub exhaust underwater at high speeds. The 7 Marine 557 had an ideal cruising speed range of 3000 to 4500 rpm and can reliably run up to 5500. 7 Marine later expanded its model portfolio to include the 527 and 627 variants to cover the needs of every customer. The 627 variant required further modifications, including the replacement of the heads with Lingefeld ones with different combustion chambers and a different camshaft from the LS9 engine. With a price tag of $100,000, it was an expensive motor. In 2017, Volvo Penta stepped into the game when the company became a major shareholder of the 7 Marin LTD. It was a strategic move for Volvo, but a catastrophe for the Viscosing-based company. In 2020, the Swedish firm decided that 7 Marin did no longer fit into their commitment towards reducing emissions and environmental sustainability. There may have been various other factors playing a role in this decision, such as a new CEO, but overall it was a sad moment for the outboard industry. All three of the Davis family left the company shortly after the announcement and the company's production was halted for good in 2021. 7 Marine was not only about the sheer power and torque, it was a lifestyle luxury item that was made to highlight the boat itself. 